Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. Uh, in today's video, what I wanted to talk about was this guy over here. You know, I was thinking uh, what type of uh, you know video is it that I want to do, and I figured um, what I should probably start with is the squat rack. It's the centerpiece of any gym, and it's the most basically it's the most important piece that you guys should uh, it, that you guys will get. Um, you know, it's kind of what you build your gym around. Anyways. So <clears throat> the reason I want to talk about this was because I think this is the best option for anyone with a low ceiling height. Now you see here, if I stand up here, my head's almost in the floor joist, right? So this rack has about one inch clearance. It's 72 inches. So this is actually, uh, it's actually a squat stand with the HR2 uh, conversion from Rogue. So uh, some, like a lot of people don't know that you can actually get, um, you can get the 70 inch posts uh, it doesn't have to be the, the typ typically the HR2. I think it goes up to 80 inches, but it's got like the pull-up bar uh, attachment. <clears throat> if you go this route, you get the uh, you get to you know for the cost of uh, you know what is it? It's like 800 bucks. Um, you know for a half rat from Rogue, that's not bad. But um, it's great because you get the plate storage. It fits perfectly, and you get all the benefits of a normal rack. Um, <clears throat> now. The inside space in here, it's probably enough to bench out of, but you definitely couldn't squat in there. It's, uh, what's the space? It's probably, I don't know, 18 inches wide or so. So, I mean, yeah, you could probably fit like a, a bar path in there, but wouldn't be ideal. Um, that wasn't a concern to me, obviously, because I went with the other bench, uh, the standalone uh, combo rack that I just used for benching, but, um, I mean, you can use attachments in this. Uh, I have the um, the Monster Light, um, the Matador, the dip things. It's a little bit awkward. If you go back and look at some of my training clips, you can see me using it there, but it does work fine. Um, what I'm looking into now is uh, lever arms, because I think they would work with the setup, but I'm not sure if I want to get them because you have to take everything off. You have to take off the J-cups. Well, you put the J-cups in the front, but um, you have to take the safeties off. It'd be kind of a pain to use, but uh, regardless, <clears throat> I think this is probably your best bet if you're looking because if you're looking at uh, low ceiling height options, you're, you're pretty well only looking at squat stands, and squat stands aren't great because um, you can't you can't do anything else with them. Um, <clears throat> sure, you know they're cheap, they're easy to move move around, which is great, um, but I mean they're unstable. You don't get any attachments with them. You don't get plate storage with it if you're going to be benching off it, um, or I guess you could, but it's just kind of uh, like it's, it's, it's not ideal. It's not as you know easy as, as this would be. So, um, yeah, I think that gives you a pretty good, pretty good view of it. We got the whole setup there. We got the band pegs at the bottom. Um, I opted not to uh, to bolt it into the foundation. A lot of people, I feel like, are worried about doing this because they think it's going to ruin their foundation. It's not a big deal. As soon as you take the bolts out and say you want to move it, you can just get some filler and um, you know. You're, you're pretty well good to go. <clears throat> it's uh, it's not going to ruin your your foundation or anything like that. Um, but you know, the, the, there was no reason for me to do it because I got the plate storage. So um, I mean, it's sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, you see, there is obviously a little bit of shape to it, but it's not. You know, it, it just shakes a little bit. It doesn't. It, it's structurally, it's it's uh, it's good to go. You're not going to have any issues. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, there are some other options, um, you know, from uh, being in Canada, some of the places I was looking at was uh, uh, Bells of Steel. They have a, whoop, let it frame. They have what's called the residential rack. I believe it is uh, 72 inches as well. I'm pretty sure Rep Fitness also has um, one called, uh, it's like residential light series, something like that. And it's right around the 70 inch mark. Um, so there are companies that do it. So search, you know, do your research first because there are other options, but um, this is just perfect for me. Now, I, I preferred a half rack to a full rack. That was just my personal preference. I have used full racks before at the, at the gym that I used to go to, but uh, I found I didn't like them. Even it was the full, I forget what it's called. It's like the RML3 or whatever. Uh, it's like the six post, um, so tons of space, obviously. Um, I still felt kind of confined in it. Like when I was walking out, I was always kind of like, you know, half looking over my shoulder, like, am I gonna walk into the into the back post here or not? Um, 
Half rack I love because you, you squat, you're wide open, you've got the safeties here. Um, if you do fall uh, with the weight, you're gonna be fine. <clears throat> It's not a big deal. So uh, that, that was just my personal preference. I, I, did, I, I would rather go with a half rack than a full rack. I also think it just looks better. It looks a little bit cleaner. It's more open. Um, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, the one thing that, that sucks about this that I, that I do miss that I can't do is a pull-up bar. Pull-up bar would be great, but I don't think there's any way I can do pull-ups in here. Now, I actually have, um, I have a cross member. I added this to the back. So basically what I added to this, um, I added the, um, it says row here. Here, I'll, I'll bring this over here and show you. Um, so I got these, I forget what they're called. They're like nameplate cross members or whatever. I did the coupe, shout out to coupe. Uh, I did the thing where he puts the, the aluminum foil in the back. It actually looks pretty sweet. So shout out to coupe on that one. But um, yeah, cause I'm sure he's watching my videos. Um, but yeah, so this, the, the, the cross member, I think that's what it's called. This was just the basic, cheapest, smallest thing. Um, I'm gonna whip this around here, whoa, um, and show you guys this. So yeah, this was, uh, this was the cheapest, smallest option. I got it just purely for stability. Uh, before I put this in, it did shake quite a bit. Um, it was cheap, it was, I think it was like 150 bucks, um, so it wasn't a big deal, and you know, I was hoping I'd be able to do pull-ups with it, but it's awkward because you got to like keep your knees and your chest, so it's kind of uh, <clears throat> it's kind of uncomfortable. But um, what I don't like about it is it sits almost, you know, when you're squatting, it sits almost directly at eyesight. So it's kind of um, it's kind of in the way a little bit. It's kind of annoying because it, it messes up. You know, I, I I've always watched myself in the mirror when I'm when I'm squatting, hence the giant mirrors. Um, that was kind of a necessity for me, but. Um, yeah, it's, it kind of sits like right at that eye side. I wish that um, that you could make it flush right with the top. I don't know why that wasn't an option. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So well, I added that. I added the two um, rogue nameplate things. They were pretty cheap too. Um, but yeah, basically, if, if you want to get this set up, all you have to do is get um, any Monster Light squat stand, and uh, if you get the the HR2 conversion rack, just make sure when you check out that you select the 70 inch post. I actually emailed Rogue after just to be 100% sure. I, I might call them actually. I find calling them is easier than sending an email because email takes two or three days, but if you call, you know, you, you're on hold for half an hour, but you at least get through to somebody you can talk to them right away. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I, I called them just to check to make sure it was the 70 inch. Um, post because uh, I think it was more common. It's, it's more common to get the 80 or the 90 inch, whatever it is that it typically comes with. So yeah, in my opinion, this is the ultimate uh, low ceiling, you know, kind of unfinished basement uh, rack, half rack, squat stand option. I think it's a good bang for your buck um, and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in that comment section as always guys thank you so much for watching that is gonna wrap it up for the video today make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting or entertaining or informative and we'll see you next time guys uh, i know i just said yesterday i'm gonna do a video every sunday at 6 p.m i'm still gonna do that but i guess i'll do random videos too because that schedule lasted all of less than one day so see you next time guys chicken out